I own too many books I have not read. Very early on, I want to say that I don't think that anybody who owns more unread books than me have too many, but for my personal sanity, I think I own too many. So in this video, I'm going to show you all of the 89 unread books that I own, but I also wanted to share my plans for 2024 with you. This year, I want to get my physical TBR down to 15 books. It feels ambitious, but I do read over 200 books in a year. So every month I plan on making one video centered around reading books from my TBR. The first one will be a spinner wheel picking my TBR. So all of the unread books I own will be on a spinner wheel. And then I'm going to be spending a week reading as many as I can. So once I finish a book, I will spin again and I'm gonna try to get through as much as possible. This will be starting in February. I'm out of town so much in January that it just won't work. That will not get me down to 15. So other vlogs that I have planned will also incorporate books that I own as much as possible. A decent amount of these I did get in 2023. So they're all things I'm really excited for still but I just want to have a very small TBR and then whenever I go out and buy something I can read it when I am the most excited about it I was inspired to do this by Ashley from Ashley's Little Library so I will have her video linked in the description where she talks about the project that she did I am very nervous to be doing this just because it feels like a big commitment and I don't want to feel like I'm limiting myself to only reading books on my shelves which is why I want to do the one week every month but I really just want this to be a big focus and priority for me this year so that's my update you will be seeing a lot of these books that you are about to see in videos throughout the year I'm really excited about it I have some really exciting looking books on my shelves so here they are here is my TBR shelf This is my 24 books to read in 2024 shelf, so I'm going to be going through these first because I want to keep these together when I move these to a different shelf. The Women Could Fly by Megan Giddings. The Chain by Adrian McKinty. Born by Jeff Vandermeer. Bad Man by Dathan Auerbach. One to Watch by Kate Stamen London. Outside In by Maria V. Snyder. The Silence of the Lambs by Thomas Harris. Rosebud by Paul Cornell. Under the Dome by Stephen King. Dark Cities edited by Christopher Golden. The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw, The Office BFFs by Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey, Antioch by Jessica Leonard, The Changeling by Victor Lavelle, Little Secrets by Jennifer Hillier, Sallow Bend by Alan Baxter, The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty, Jack and Jill by Keelan Patrick Burke, How to Survive Your Murder by Danielle Ballantyne, Warrior Girl Unearthed by Angeline Boley, The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers, Desert Creatures by Kay Cranister, The Haunting of Blackwood House by Darcy Coe, Six Rooms by Gemma Amore. So that is the end of my 24 books to read from my shelves in 2024 or unhaul. The first half of that are books that I bought before 2023 and have been on my shelves the longest and the second half were ones that I got in 2023. So the books I have up here are ones that I owned before 2023. So I'm going to do those first because there's less of them. Up to The Challenge by Marie V. Snyder. Hench by Natalie Zena Walshots. Mickey Seven by Edward Ashton. The Municipalists by Seth Fried. Hollow Kingdom by Kira Jane Buxton. The Paul Bearers Club by Paul Tremblay. Curse Bunny by Bora Chung. The Wasp Factory by Ian Banks. Rabbits by Terry Miles. The Passage by Justin Cronin. A Half Built Garden by Ruthanna Emers. Dig by A.S. King. Wisteria Cottage by Robert M. Coates. The First Wife by Erica Spindler. The Nesting by C.J. Cook, Parable of the Sower by Octavia E. Butler, The Circle by Dave Eggers, The Choice by Jillian McAllister, Hannibal by Thomas Harris, The Future of Another Timeline by Annalie Nowitz, and Paperbacks from Hell by Grady Hendrix. The rest are books that I accumulated in 2023. This is a combination of book boxes, books that were sent to me, and books I bought used and new. Devil's Creek by Todd Kiesling, Graveyard of Lost Children by Katrina Monroe, Plastic Monsters by Daniel J. Velope, The Switch House by Tim Meyer, Anybody Home by Michael J. Seilinger, Telecommuting by Elle Marie Wood, The Prettiest Girl in the Grave by Christopher Triana, The Laws of the Skies by Gregory Cortis, Courtois, is this French? Ghost Tamer by Meredith R. Lyons. No Gods, No Monsters by Cadwell Turnbull. The Woodkin by Alexander James. The Camp by Nancy Bush. 13 Suburban Monsters. Ling Hun by Ai Jiang. Girl Among Crows by Brendan Veo. Alice in Borderland, Volume 8. Neverworld Wake by Marisha Pessel. Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. 
Gonsmith by Nikki Powell Preto, The Serpent in the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent, Gone Tonight by Sarah Pekkanen, The Other Half by Charlotte Vassell, The Fiction Writer by Jillian Cantor, How Can I Help You by Laura Sims, A Brief History of Living Forever by Jaroslav Kalafar, Bridge by Lauren Bukes, the Stranger Upstairs by Lisa M. Matlin. Full Immersion by Gemma Amor. The Grip of It by Jack Jemek. Battle Royale by Koshin Takami. Man Fuck This House by Brian Asman. Standalone by Paul Michael Anderson. Crossroads by Laurel Hightower. Rosemary's Baby by Ira Levin. The Last Haunt by Max Booth III. Touch the Night by Max Booth III. The Ninth Session by Deborah Serrani. Dollhouse by John Hunt. The Full Croft Ghosts by Darcy Coates. Boys in the Valley by Philip Fercasi. Midnight Showing by Megan Shepard. Candy Cane Kills by Brian McCauley. What Mother Won't Tell Me by Ivar Leon Menger, and Chlorine by Jade Song. So these, plus all of the books that I already showed you, are the 89 on my physical TBR. Ideally, all of these except for maybe five or so will be red, and the ones that I have at the end of the year will be new releases. If you've read any of these books, I'd love to know your thoughts. Also, let me know if there's any you think I should prioritize. If you have a specific reason for that, I will be more likely to read it probably if you let me know. If you made it to the end and want to leave me an emoji to say you are here, you can leave me a fish for chlorine. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my content. I have a lot of really exciting things coming this month and then I will be starting this project in February. If you're looking to find me in other places on the internet, everything is linked in the description, including my bookstagram, my storygraph, and my Patreon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!